let's discuss the energy pyramid and energy flow. So first off, biomass is the amount of organisms by mass, right? So if we took a scale and weighed all the killer whales in an ecosystem, that would be the biomass of killer whales. So the energy pyramid, it has at the very bottom the most biomass, and each step up is going to be considerably less biomass. And at the very top of the pyramid would have the least amount of biomass, the least amount of organisms by mass. Each level we call it a trophic level. At the very bottom are the producers, and of course they're doing mostly photosynthesis to make the food. Right? They're bringing the energy into the ecosystem from sunlight and making food. Primary consumers eat the producers, secondary consumers eat the primary consumers, and so on. Every time something is eaten, about 10% of the energy that was in the food is actually transferred. All right, only 10%. 90% of that energy is actually lost, and it's lost as heat. So it didn't, doesn't disappear, it just it has heat. It's not used. So what's really important by this is basically every time something is eaten, you only get 10% of the energy from it. That means you need to eat a lot more of something because you're only getting 10% of the energy. And if you look far up the energy pyramid, there's going to be a lot less organisms or a lot less biomass at the very top. Why? Because 10% of the energy is transferred, 90% is lost as heat. Here, let's practice some math with this. So at the very bottom level, we have our producers the plants and if we multiply it by 10 percent we would get 1,000 so in your calculator you just times it by 0.1 and so 10,000 times 0.1 would be 1,000 or I drop a zero to go up the next level I just do it again I multiply by 10 percent or I multiply in the calculator by 0.1 so 1,000 times 0.1 in the calculator is going to give you 100 and once again, to go up to the next level, notice I'm just multiplying by 10% each time. What about going down? Well, you divide by 0.1. You divide by 10%. So if I have at the very top 10, 10 kilocalories of energy, right? the next level down would have 100 kilocalories of energy to help support that 10 kilocalories of energy. And to support the 100 kilocalories of energy, we're going to need 1,000. And all I did to do with the math was divide by 0.1. So to go up the pyramid, we multiply by 0.1, or we take off a zero, and we move the decimal by 1. And to move down the pyramid, we divide by 0.1, or divide by 10%, or we add a zero. We also can do this with biomass. So notice before I was showing you with energy, with calories, well, we could do it with grams, with weight, with biomass. I hope this helps. Thanks for listening.